I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin and Don Hall with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top though Funny how it's evaded and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord to kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. And you gotta understand, take that if you're going to go. And what, I wish you don't, but you know how it is, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't want to hear the truth, you know what I'm saying? Like the truth is too much for us. And we end up going to church anyway because mama keep enticing you, right? To go to church. There is a law, though, real brief. You can look it up later on. There is a law that if you entice another Israelite, you were supposed to be put to death. That was a death penalty offense. Entice him to go serve another God, all right? Now, God said that his people are foolish, right? That's a real uh, um, possessive pronoun. His people are the people on this side. Read. They have not known me. We don't know God. Like I said earlier, we didn't even know he was a warlord. We didn't even know that he hated the white man. We didn't even know that we cannot join other religions. You know what I'm saying? That we we're supposed to stay away from religions, period. We, we, didn't, we didn't even know that our woman is supposed to be submitted to their husbands. You know what I'm saying? And shut your mouth and you're going to learn what I tell you to learn because it's the right thing and it's necessary for your life, for the stability of your life. So that way we can raise this family also the right way. We didn't know those things. You understand? And more. We didn't know how to dress. We didn't know how to compose ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know a lot of things. That's why the Lord's saying that we didn't know him. Read. They are sorted. You know what it means? It means brutish. Dumb. You know what I'm saying? That's the term we use today. But it means brutish. You know what I'm saying? Sardish. Like we ain't trying to learn anything. Read. They are sorted. Children. See that? He called us children. Obviously, he's a parent, right? You only call children to somebody that you, you know, birth. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you went into a woman, nine months later, boop, you came out. That's your children. You know what I'm saying? Read. And they have none understanding. Guess what? We'll never get understanding if we keep going to church. We'll never get understanding if we keep following the damn white man. We'll never get understanding believing that God loved everybody when the Bible says he don't love everybody. You understand? We'll never get an understanding of how to dress, how to compose ourselves, how to tell the woman to shut the hell up. You ain't celebrating New Year's. You ain't celebrating from now on Mother's Day because it's against God. You're going to shut up and you're going to learn what God said to do. You understand? We, you don't know God. You don't know what, we, what he wants, whatever. Read. They are worse to do evil. And that's the problem. You hear what God said about his kids? We are wise to do evil, meaning... We know all the ways to do the wrong things. Celebrating Mother's Day, celebrating your birthday, all the holidays that the white man said, trying to join the white man um, of society, you know what I'm saying? Being down with the white man, acting like he's your best friend and all that, you know what I'm saying? Voting, you know what I'm saying? All of it, Christmas, all of it. Going to church, all of it. Smoking weed, smoking blunts, having your sisters dance on the pole, ma making a prostitute out of your woman, making a prostitute out of your daughters, making a prostitute out of your sisters, all of that. We wise to do evil. Going to church, you know what I'm saying? We wise to do evil, read. But to do good. But to do good. They have no knowledge. See that? Hey, but we don't have knowledge, but guess what? You can't get that. Just come in the ISUBK, we tell you all day. We give you a fly. 
come to class. Matter of fact, start by coming every week and just standing right there. Do that for a time. And then start coming to class. You know what I'm saying? Is that, is that the end of the verse? Now let's get some more. Go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 7 and 17. We'll start there. You know what I'm saying? We got to depro deprogram ourselves from following the philosophies of the white man. You know what I'm saying? From following the doctrines of the white man. From following all the methods that the white man says, the path that the white man says you should follow. We got to stop that, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? We, gotta, we, we can no longer ever do, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, start by not doing drugs. How about that? Can we do that? That's how I started. I'm going to be straight up. I was one of them dudes out in the street like that. You know what I'm saying? But learning the truth, I started there. I stopped smoking the Newports. Stop smoking them Phillies. Stop, left the Dutchies alone. Left the little skein alone. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, a little, you know, hair on and all this and that. I did it. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. <laughs> I'm from the Bronx, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was in my environment. You know what I'm saying? If you go check on YouTube, the Bronx 1970s, the late 70s, you will understand what this, this Puerto Rican went through. You know what I'm saying? Read here. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 17. See, is thou not what they do in the cities of Judah? Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, what I do unto this house, which I call by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place which I gave to you and to your fathers, and I have done to Right, seven to seventeen. I'm gonna show you something about what God called the Queen of Heaven. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get at. We treat our mothers like she a queen, right? Let's be real. Mom is queen. You know what I'm saying? But well, you, we don't know what queen means. You know what I'm saying? But we treat our moms like one. And here's the thing: we want we want to put mom on the pedestal, right? Because remember, she carried us nine months, right? We want to do all that for mom, right? She deserved that because she raised us up even though daddy wasn't home. But we forgot to include the most important factor. We were swimming in our daddy's nut sacks for a long time. You know what I'm saying? We got to remember dad too. Now, I'm not saying go celebrate Father's Day. It's not what I'm saying. But we put too much emphasis on worshiping the woman, which is what the white man wants us to do. You know what I'm saying? You got it? Come, come. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 17 Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem the children gather wood Jeremiah says see not the, what thou hast done in the cities of Judah and Jerusalem right? So you understand it's talking about the nation of Israel Read The children gather wood Children you send the little children to gather wood What for? What's the wood you gather wood for what? Not just for heating, but for what else? For cooking, right? To start a fire and you start cooking, right? Today, how we do it? We go turn on the oven, poof, right? And throw the bird in, or throw the beef in, or, or sometimes you even throw in the abominable stuff in there, you know what I'm saying? Like pork, which is a sin against God. You know what I'm saying? Read. Oh, God. The ch and the fathers can do the fire. Fathers can do the fire, you know what I'm saying? Instead of it, the kids go get the wood, but daddy turns on the fire, daddy turns on the oven, when he should be like, hell no, we ain't celebrating this. The hell with all that. And, and, and she can start all complaining, oh, you don't look. Come, listening to Eve and the garden, listen to our sister. She can, I want to say the word, but I'm gonna hold it here. She can act, you know, and, and run her mouth all day. And this is the problem with a lot of us. And it's because the white man's fault, it's America's fault. A lot of brothers are afraid to stand up against their woman. And that's the reality of it. We don't want to, we don't want because that mouth. Because white, white, white people are totally, you know how the women are, you know what I'm saying? That might, that might be the case for his woman, you know what I'm saying? We got to program ourselves. You want to know how to deal with a woman? Come into the ISUPK. That's right. The ISUPK will make, turn you from a softy husband into the most hardcore warrior in the right mind to deal with your wife. You know what I'm saying? And in this day, whether she like it or not, she's gonna learn I'm the boss. You know what I'm saying? Your wives. You know what I'm saying? 
Steph Curry? Steph Curry. Well, you know, some brothers can't <laughs> read. Curry will come. And the woman, Ned, they're dope. Needing dough for what? To bake something, read. To make cakes to the queen of heaven. See that now, isn't that woman worshiping? To make cakes to the queen of heaven. And we did this in the past. How we do it today? Anybody know? I just said it earlier. Worshiping Mother's Day. Celebrating Mother's Day. That's what we're doing. We make her the queen of heaven. You know what I'm saying? We make her like the, like the thing. And, and guess what? The Latino community is the same thing. Native Indian community is the same thing. Because we, this is a thing that we learn from the white man. It ain't our custom. Read. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods. To what? Unto other gods. And we're going in the church and pouring out drink to other gods. Chapter 40, right? Remember that saying? Chapter 40, twist the cap. We do it like that with the beer these days. Pour a little something. Pour a little something out for God. And all this. All that. I know because I would do the same. You know what I'm saying? Do all that. Pour a little something. Didn't know that that's against God. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know that. Read. That they may provoke me to anger. Guess what? That's what we're doing all the time. We make God mad. That's why he's saying that they may provoke me to anger. We celebrate what white man said to celebrate. We make God mad. You, you, you sisters don't understand, right? I know, I know a lot of the Christian women ain't trying to hear this. Nah, this is too bad, right? This is the bad thing, what they're saying. The bad man, right? Hombre malo, right? That's how Trump said. Hombre malo, right? Don't say that. I love mom. I right. love her. Damn it, I love mom too. But she ain't God. Straight up and down. I love her too. And since I love her, I'd have told if she was alive, you ain't ever, ever never getting the gift from me. Not when the white man say, I'll wait till after, two weeks after, or two weeks before, whenever. I'll do it whenever the hell I want to. But on the day that the white man said, you aren't getting it. Oh, well, how I forgot, General. And don't expect some chocolates on Valentine's from me, either. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't getting that. Because once again, I'm making her the queen of heaven on Valentine's Day also. You know what I'm saying? And the birthday cakes. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. Read. Verse 19. Do they provoke me to anger? Damn right we provoke the most high to anger. Every time we do every, anything in contrary to the Lord, he punishes us. And you know what's so diabolical about white people? That he sets up ways for us to continue sinning against the Lord. So now you can't get in that, that part when that, was it, the Ammonite was talking about how, when he was telling the, was it the Assyrian? Uh, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? When he was telling the, 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 the other heathen how if we keep, if, if they make us sin against the Lord, that he will punish us. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show it to you. Like the white man looked at this book and figured it out. Hold up. I want my slaves. I'm going to break it down to you, black man. This is very important, right? Hispanic Native American Indians, right? You remember that image of Ruth when we bust the chains, right? Break the chains because you're free from slavery. We ain't free now. <laughs> the only way to get free is to start doing what God say to do. And we're going to give you the steps, right? The heathens studied our records, our doctrine, right? Our constitution. And notice that every time we sinned, God came up against us. God wasn't with us. To this day, we provoke the Lord to anger. We don't even realize this, black man. We're making God mad every time we join America in their celebrations. Every time mama go up in that church, she provoked God to anger. Then wondering why all these bills are piling up on top of why her son is a drunkie, a drug addict, right? Why her daughter turned out to be a lesbian. I had a little son that turned out to be homosexual. Well, guess what? We sin against the Lord, the Lord will come at you. I told you that God is a warlord. You ain't gonna play with the power. Nothing, you gotta think about this. There's no other real God that's alive like God, our God, the God of blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You understand, just like a parent that loves his kids, when the kids do wrong, what happens? This is the logical thing to do. They get a butt whipping, right? Well, guess what? The heathens figured it out. 
They were like, hold up. If we can keep these people enslaved because it's necessary. Don't you understand? Let, let, me, let, me, let me put it like this to you, black man. What are the two most uh, um, um, super economic powers on the planet right now? The United States and China, right? China right now is number two as far as the economic power on the globe. Now, let me show you a little something. It might piss you off, I hope it does. The only reason why these two economics are strong and powerful is because they got God's kids in slavery. They got black people in slavery. You understand? And if you don't believe me, the next time you go to jail, right, and you sew in McDonald's uniforms, right. making furniture, right. right, making thongs, well, what's that, Victoria's Secret stores, right? Pink and all that other stuff. When you're making parachutes for the military, when you're making boots and solar panels, Guess what? America got paid, and you got more time. Slavery. All I wanted was to be a gangster. I ain't lying, I was close to dying. Knew I wanted to live, but I wasn't trying. I was defiant, not knowing that this ain't how we live. This just how they design it. Cause when you win them streets, you get more indignant. They don't tell you gonna be on papers and no restrictions. My father said I hard had to make a soft ass. I didn't care, I wanted fear when I walked past. In a place where a black man's blood is cheap. I thank the Lord for the day I was on Lake Street. Pissing in the cup, back and forth the court Found a DC school, I swear it felt like I crawled on that fucking porch The Lord said, my sheep, they ain't hear my voice Ask me why I'm UPK, I told them I ain't have a choice They said God ain't 50 50 and what's gonna come to pass The Lord called me out the world and that's not right What I ever wanted was to be a Dexter Little did I know, I wasn't nature Decisions that I made provoke the Lord's anger 